Um, this week's lesson is titled Reality, and I'm only going to read the fourth section of the lesson this, this afternoon, and the golden text and the introduction. So the golden text is from 2 Corinthians. It says, Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. And the introduction is from Psalms. The Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. God is the Lord which has showed us light. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Open thou mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts. So shall I talk of thy wondrous works. Give me understanding and I shall keep thy law yea I shall observe it with my whole heart make me go to the path of thy commandments for therein do I delight turn away my eyes from beholding vanity and quicken thou in thy way and from Romans now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. And now, just reading from section 4, from the Bible, the book of Mark. There was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out, saying, Let us alone! What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit um, uh, had torn him, okay, when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? That new doc what new doctrine is this? Cut. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the rain has come in, and I wouldn't mind a bit, but maybe my phone will. <laughs> so let's go in undercover, shall we? Or we can finish the lesson there. Okay, here we go. again from the Bible the book of Mark there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit <coughs> and he cried out saying let us alone what have we to do with thee thou Jesus of Nazareth art thou to come to destroy us I know thee who thou art the Holy One of God and Jesus rebuked him 
peace and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit um, tore on him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying, what thing is this? What new doctrine is this? abroad through all the region round about Galilee. And forthwith, when they would come out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. But Simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever, and anon they tell him of her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up and immediately the fever left her and she ministered unto them and he healed many that were sick of divers diseases and cast out many devils john now is the son of man glorified and god is glorified with him in him and god is glorified in him my phone is wet <laughs> So it's slippery. Okay. Um, verily, verily, I. This is from John. Now, um, what Jesus said. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And from First John. Um, Wait a second. <laughs> I have to dry my phone to get it to my finger. I'm sorry, my friends. <laughs> I'm not really sorry. It's fun to be out in the world on such a beautiful day. Okay, let's see. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And in 1 John it says, The darkness is past, and the true light now shineth. And from the Science and Health with the Key to the Scriptures by Mary Baker Eddy, it says, Remember Jesus, who nearly 19 centuries ago, that's when centuries ago, centuries um, ago, demonstrated the power of spirit and said, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And who also said, but the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation, said Paul. Not that now men should uh, prepare for a future world salvation or safety, but that now is the time in which to experience that salvation in spirit and in life. Now is the time for so-called material pains and material pleasures to pass away. For both are unreal, because impossible physical healing of Christian science results now, as in Jesus' time, from the operation of divine principle, before which sin and disease lose their reality in human consciousness, and disappear as naturally and as necessarily as darkness gives place to light, and sin to reformation. Now as then these mighty works are not supernatural, but supremely natural. Um, I lost my thing. 
place. Oh, there we are. Supremely natural. <laughs> they are the sign of Emmanuel, or God with us. A divine influence ever present in human consciousness and repeating itself. Coming now, as was promised aforetime, to preach deliverance to the captives of sense and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. There's but one way to heaven, harmony. And Christ, in divine science, shows us this way. It is to know no other reality, to have no other consciousness of life than good, God, and his reflection, and to rise superior to the so-called pain and pleasure of the senses. Amen. Fun to read in the rain with you. <laughs> we may never get to do it again. <laughs> so onward. <laughs> Look at this beautiful garden that God has put for our setting today. Isn't it lovely? We couldn't ask for more. Every drop is a, just sweet as honey. I'll see you soon. I hope it doesn't make too much racket for you. We'll trundle on back to the shop to the school.